Okay, James, as promised, uh, this is the underside of the stag. First thing you'll notice, it has been fairly well undersealed from new. Uh, so I'll just take you around the areas as we are. We're fairly well serviced, brake pipes as you can see are like new and everything. On the top there, they've never been in place, they are the original ones covered in underseal. Right, coming down the driver's side, you can have these box sections and everything, there's nothing ever been repaired or plated or anything. And this is coming down the sill, if you can see in the sill edge there, it's all the original seams and everything like that. Nothing at all a concern. Coming on the cross rigger there, you'll see just a little bit of uh, red oxide there showing, which is original covering under the undersill, so it's just been jacked on there at some point. But say so coming down the floor there, all, all as new. Okay, just this is only the inside of the. Uh, Drivers in the wing, looking up there again, all heavily undersealed, no corrosion. This is coming down the wing edge just here. It's all dry and well sealed. All right, you notice it's probably had a couple of track ends on at some point. Uh, that's the front there, the steering rack across the steering rack and everything to the near side now. I'll show you the same areas, that's in the suspension obviously. Going up on the inner wing all the way around you'll see no corrosion and fully unsealed from the all original. Now in this corner here, if you look in there, I'm going to put the light back, I thought that was an area of concern and it isn't, it's just where underseal has been lathered and left really but it's, it's all solid you'll see the wing ledge there it's all the original and everything again the outriggers perfect coming down the sills you know it's not been jacked on those sills or anything like that coming on to the rear sill as it goes into the wheel arch again all perfect in the box section of the floor there, all good. You notice it's got a new stainless steel exhaust on it. That's across the axle and the drive shafts. The aluminium is still showing fairly well on the rear trailing arms. The handbrake cables are all free and clean and everything like that. Uh, again, a little bit of uh, red oxide showing there, it's had a petrol leak at some point, no doubt. These are the drain off pipes. Oh, it's been overflowed. Uh, springs there all, all look original and everything with under seal on. Right, going up the centre of the car, now just going over the transmission. A little bit oily in places, nothing too drastic, I don't think. A sump oil filter if you're looking up there on the inner chassis leg there you'll see the original white paintwork above the under seal and everything and again the same the other side although it looks a bit fresher that under seal but i'm not sure if it is or not it's the same texture so it's maybe just been got a bit of oil on it over the years right on the front inner uh Cross member, the lower, lo the lower panel basically. You see the under seal in the inside there, that's the radiator obviously. The cowl underneath it, it's a bit rusty. It's, it's solid, it's very solid and everything, but it's just dry and rusty. And also, you'll notice the lower panel there, it's been under sealed just up to the, the grommet holes there and everything. But on the inside here, and you see where the finger is, that's the original red oxide in there. It's, and it's, they haven't really undersealed it very well in there. It's been like it from new. It's not rotten, it's just dry. The red oxide showing it. It does really want a little bit of tension there, I'd say. Now on the other side, you'll just notice a bit of overspray here. This will have come from inside the engine bay. As I told you, it had a, the engine bay was detailed a few years ago because of the battery spillage. But again, it's nothing 
it's not damaged or, or anything like that. And this is the lower area of the front balance, just over, over spray with undersill really. Okay, coming up under the battery, under the bumper bracket there and everything, it's all good. Visual seam there. Okay, just coming down the sills, this is the wing lip. And coming down the driver's side, this is the under seal, just flashed over on the bomber's sill. So it's all in great condition there, never been touched. But the other side, when I come down here, Starting at the back, this is a curb side basically, coming up the sills, all perfect so far until I get about two foot from the front wheel and you'll notice here, this area here, it's not rusty or anything but the paint's been chipped off with uh, years of stones flap flapping up against it so that really does want a little bit of treatment, it's not rusty as I say, it's, it's solid as a as a rock and also just on that wheel arch lip. We'll just drop down a little bit now and show you under the arches. Right, so that's the wheel arch near side from a little bit of paint come off. That's fine, I'm good. Under the wing there, near side front wing. I hope you can see it but it's absolutely perfect. Visual springs there, blue markings on them. Right, so the offside front now. So that's under there, there's no corrosion of any sort. Uh, just again, a little bit of paint wearing thin. You can see the original spot wells there on the wing. There's a little bit of paint just bit flaked off and started from chips but again nothing untoward. Right, offside rear, wheel arch, inside again. Just showing a little bit of uh, paint just flaking off but as I said to you I can't photograph it but this, this is dead tight, these, um, these seams and everything are perfect. So easily, easily touched up or remedied or left alone and treated. And then finally, the near side rear, again you'll see the wheel arches at the top there. As in the wheel arch you'll see the original spot welds and everything. Just great detail for an original car. And again, what you see all the chassis there, you see the aluminium uh, trailing arm. No corrosion, all original. Looking down the car, a few little dings on the door there, just there and there. Odd little edge ch chip on there, just a little one on the sill there. But just very nice. So, in good all, pop this uh, online for you and uh, <coughs> excuse me, hope you enjoy it.